Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Battlefield 3 commentary. This is going to be another episode of Shooting the Shit. And I wanted to touch upon a topic tonight uh, that's uh, a little nasty, you could say. So if you're eating something, you know, or if you have a weak stomach or anything like that, uh, don't watch this video, you know, if you're a punk like that. But if you have a strong stomach and you can listen to some crazy stuff while eating, then watch this video. And I know you guys out there who, who do have a weak stomach, you feel challenge now <laughs> and that was the point of that i want to challenge you um to this it's not even that it's not even that gross okay um the first one is gross the second one is just a a, a huge what the fuck uh but this topic i guess you can call it um is about a week old probably i think even more uh it's been on facebook for quite some time now and what it is is a girl decided to eat a dirty tampon record it and put it on facebook and uh, the likelihood of that being fake, like she probably took a, a clean tampon, dipped it in red dye, and ate it on camera and was like acting all disgusting, you know, stuff like that. But even if that video is fake, why would you want people to think that you ate a dirty tampon? That's not a good image for you. Like, I don't get the point of that. Well, technically, I, I like, I get the point of it, but I don't, it's just, it's mind boggling. The point of her doing that is not for her to seem cool and, and I don't even know why she would seem cool for that, but it's for attention. Girls do things, sometimes crazy things such as this, and even crazier things to get attention. And by the way, the next thing is up the ladder of crazy. Like this girl who ate the dirty tampon was at DEFCON level four of crazy. The next bitch is at DEFCON level one, guns cocked and loaded, crazy. Like that type of crazy. Um, but girls would do crazy things for attention you got girls out there that will accuse guys of raping them for attention to to get that that feeling of 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 uh compassion or not compassion to get to get the uh the emotion of pity from people you know just to have people feel sorry for her and stuff like that and get the attention and it's not only girls guys would do the same thing uh people just will do a lot of stuff for attention sometimes extreme stuff like killing people and shit like that uh, some mass murderers that have been done has been done for attention, but it's just it's it's insane how you know this generation is. It's just it's ridiculous. Now the next one, like I said, DefCon level one of of fucking bad shit crazy. Like this girl needs to go to the mental in, the mental institute ASAP. Uh, she apparently had sex with a dog and put the video <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's just, it's insane. The reason why I'm laughing is because it's just fucking insane. Why in the hell of it would you have sex with a dog and put the video on Facebook? Now, I have not seen this video, and I really don't want to see this video, but I've heard about it a lot. And it's just, it's insane. Th this attention-seeking level is beyond belief. And I really hope... That this is like the all-time low for our generation. And I really don't think it's the all-time... It's gonna be the all-time low for our generation. Uh, this is gonna... This is... It's probably gonna get lower than this. You never know. Like, maybe a girl is gonna have sex with a horse and put that shit on Facebook for attention. Uh, it's just... It's insane. And... I just... The, the... Like, for people like this, there needs to be a camp developed. You know? No, and, and some people will say, oh my god, Ivan, you want to build concentration camps? No, 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 not concentration camps. We could call these re-education camps. Send these idiots, all the idiots of the world, to these camps and give them time to redeem themselves. You know, this girl who ate a dirty tampon, if she really put her mind to it, maybe she could accomplish wonderful things. She could be an astronaut. She could freaking find the cure to cancer and all this other happy horse shit. The girl who had sex with a dog... If she, if she really put her mind to it, maybe she could become a veterinarian <laughs> and hopefully not have sex with the animal she's trying to save. But there needs to be these camps where we send really, really stupid people. And I'm not talking about the mentally retarded or anything like that. Just the really stupid people. Like, stupid to the point where they have no common sense and shit like that. To these camps where they could get re-educated and hopefully become a better thing. And, and if not, then, well... Some sacrifices need to be made, let's all be honest. But there needs to be some sort of, you know, reconstruction camp, if you want to call it like that. And um, it's just, it's, it's insane. And I hope, you know, those of you guys out there who were eating or something like that, have a weak stomach. If you're still here uh, and if you feel like vomiting, um, go ahead, pause the video. 
go to the bathroom, vomit your your, your guts out, and then come back. Uh, but <laughs> it's just it's insane. Uh, on to another topic tonight. Um, I watched Taken Two. Uh, I didn't get to see it when it came out in theaters, so I <clears throat> I went to Target and I bought the you know the Blu-ray disc like everybody does these days. We all buy we all buy Blu-ray disc, and I totally went to Target and bought it. You know, I did not search up the Pirate Bay on my computer. I'm not that type of person. Um, but <laughs> make it more obvious, right? Uh, but I saw Taken Two tonight, and I thought the movie was gonna suck because my theory is anything that has the number two after it for like like example taken two or spider-man two or something like that if they can't even think of a different title other than two then their imagination just isn't there and the movie's probably gonna suck and most of the time i'm right but taken two is actually really good i enjoyed it a lot i'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys but i really gotta ha wrap my head around this though you know the whole plot line of taken two um, even though the movie was great, it just, I, it's, it's something that it's hard to, um, like, not imagine, but hard to, to say that I would do the same. Um, I'm not talking about, re like, I wouldn't rescue my daughter or my wife or, or ex-wife or whatever. I would, you know, I would go through hell and back to do something like that. But, on the flip side of the coin, the people who kidnapped them, just imagine this, just imagine this scenario. Taken 1, if you guys haven't seen it, I'm going to spoil the fuck out of that, alright? So if you haven't seen Taken 1, <laughs> exit this video or skip to whatever. Um, but Taken 1, they take his daughter. You know, they're about to sell her into to the sex trafficking and prostitution and all that shit. And this guy single-handedly goes and wipes out, like, the entire infrastructure of that illegal uh, prostitution ring or kidnapping ring, whatever you want to call it single-handedly this guy not even like he didn't roll in there with like you know the terminator or or rambo with like freaking two m60s and and just firing away and having like you know whatever this guy went in there with like pistols and hand-to-hand -hand combat and some really really complicated type shit you know and he he just completely utterly destroyed them immediately destroyed them now think about this your son was one of the guys that you're that this guy destroyed, you know, that Marco guy he killed. Why in the hell of it would you want to piss this guy off even more? He has more than, than you know, satisfactory showed his capabilities of utterly destroying anybody that stands in his way. And you're going to go and piss this guy off again. You, I don't, I, that I can't wrap my head around. You know, it's just like, why would somebody do that? Um, one thing, like, I don't think there's a spoiler, it was in the, in the trailers, uh, the guy's father, Marco's father is the one that's coming after, um, uh, the freaking Brian Mills is his name in the game, uh, in the game, wow, name in the movie, and, uh, the guy's father comes out, so I can understand, like, a whole, you know, you kill my son thing going on, but at the same time, not a really good move, but, uh, if you guys haven't seen the movie Taken 2, I would highly suggest it, it's a freaking fantastic movie. Uh, don't go, you know, like like I say these days, with action movies like that, you don't want to go to those type of movies, you know, expecting like some Shakespeare storyline. Too many people these days, they go to those movies expecting that and expecting everything to be realistic. Like, I don't know why everybody's so hell-bent on realistic these days. It's like, like, my father is a, is a, um, is, is, is a, is guilty of doing this. Like, sometimes when I'll sit and watch a movie with my father, he'll be like, oh, psh, that's unrealistic. And I'll be like, Dad, it's a movie. <laughs> Transformers is pretty fucking unrealistic. But nobody goes to Transformers and says, holy shit, <laughs> cars don't transform. This movie sucks. I'm out of here. Nobody does that. Because that's just, it's just a movie. And I think a lot of people need to go to movies and just really sit back and enjoy it. Like, a movie like The Hobbit or something like that, if the story mode doesn't really flow well or... I'm not saying, like, in the sense of The Hobbit not being realistic. Um, I'm saying in the sense of, like, The Hobbit not having a good story or something. like. Because that's, that's another, like, accusation about these action movies. Like, people go to take it to, like, oh, cliche storyline. What do you think? You, you, like, people go to movies expecting realism, expecting, like, some... Every movie to be sophistically, you know, amazingly awesome storylines and stuff like that. And it's just like people just don't know how to just in be entertained and just be entertained. They, they want so much more. 
And uh, it's just something that I find a little, you know, annoying. Just go to a movie, enjoy it. Now, I know not everybody's going to enjoy the same movies. Not not all of you guys are going to enjoy Taken 2. Uh, like, there's a lot of you guys out there who probably like the movie Ted. Me, on the other hand, I found that movie corny. I don't know. That's just me. Um, but that that's the way we are. Like I always say, everybody has their differences. Everybody's going to not like the same thing. That's just the way the world works. If you can't deal with that... Fuck it. I don't know. Go find a bridge. Jump. <laughs> I'm rude. I'm very rude. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And uh, hopefully girls in our generation will stop being so attention-seeking and so disgusting. And uh, hopefully if there is a Taken 3, somebody's not pissing off Brian Mills again. You know, piss off his daughter. She's a little... She's a little bitch. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is so rude to say. Uh, but hopefully somebody, you know, whatever. Piss off Brian Mills again. I want to take in three. I want to see him kick some more ass. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And if you did, don't forget to click that like button. Favorite this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Until next time, guys. Peace.